Good morning, students. Today, we are going to be talking about parameter and we're going to use the concepts of parameter to solve our problem here. In today's problem, we are given a rectangle, okay? And we are given the length of the rectangle, but not the breadth or what some people would call the width. However, we are given the parameter and so we want to find the unknown side, which is the breadth, given its parameter and one of the sides. Now, I have used straws, okay, to show me the distance. Now, parameter is basically the length around an object, a figure. So, I have the length and I have a breadth that I do not know how long. And I have another length, which is also equals to 12, and another breadth. So, basically, if I want to find the parameter... I would have to add up the lengths of all my straws. So I'm going to put them all into a whole line. So I'm going to have the length plus the breadth plus the, plus the length plus the breadth. Now if I do this and add up the length of all these straws, I would basically be giving getting the parameter. So now let's put words to it. If I have a length plus the breadth, and a length plus the breadth, this will give me the parameter. Okay, so this is a pictorial view of what the parameter looks like. To find parameter, we add the length, the breadth, the length, and the breadth. Now, for those of you who are more pictorial, it would help to draw a model. Doesn't this look like a model? Yeah, so I'm going to draw the model here to show you how you can do it. Okay, so I'm going to basically draw the parameter. Okay, and this is going to be the breadth, the length, the length, the breadth. Now, does this look exactly like what we have up here? Yes, I've just translated it to look like a bar model. And I'm going to label this whole thing as the parameter. Now, if you have this model in mind, when we solve the problem with our two methods later, it's going to be much easier. So keep this in mind. Okay, so in our first method, we are basically going to take away the lengths. Now, we know the two lengths. If this is 12 and this is 12 because it is a rectangle, I'm going to take away two lengths. Now, I'm going to take the parameter, this whole parameter, and take away the two lengths. Can you see what is left? Two breaths. I repeat. Now, if I have the parameter and I take away the two lengths, I will be left with two breaths. So that's what I'm going to do for method one. I'm going to take it away. So after I take it away, I'm going to be left with two breaths. Would be the parameter 38 here minus 12. Minus 12, so minus 12, minus 12. Okay, that would be 38 minus 24, which will actually give us 14 centimeters. Okay, so notice after I take away the lengths, I'm left with 14 centimeters, which is actually two breaths. Now, if the breaths are the same length, how do I find? one breath i would just basically take this this is 14 i'm just going to split it into two so one breath so i'm just going to write breath equals to 14 divided by two so that would be seven centimeters seven and seven give me 14 two breaths is 14 because i took away the lengths okay so this is method one to find the unknown breath what I did was to take away the two lengths and then split the two breaths into two to get one breath. Okay, this is method one. So this is seven. Okay, now let's take a look at method number two. Now again, we look at our model. Length plus breath plus length plus breath. Now the second method is going to split the parameter into two. Now, if I split the parameter into two, watch this. Like that. Okay? Can you see that they are equal? Each side has a length and a breadth. Each side has a length and a breadth. 
Now, if I look at my model here, splitting it into two would be splitting it here in the middle. Yes. So if the parameter is 38, each part would be 38 divided by 2. Yes. So I'm going to write here 38 divided by 2. Now, 38 divided by 2, this would be 19 and this would be 19. Yeah. So length plus, let me write that now, 19. Can you see that? Yes, 19 would be one length plus one breath. I'm just going to write B for breath here. Yeah, so we know one length and one breath is 19 centimeters because it's 19 and 19 would give me 38. Yes, 38, when I split the parameter in two, okay, it will be equals to one length and one breath. Okay, so let me move this away. So if I have this as 19, how do I find the breadth? I know the length is 12. So the breadth basically would be, if the whole thing is 19, I'm going to take away 19, taking away 12, taking away the length, which will bring, leave me with the breadth, which is also a 7 centimeters. Okay? Yes, these are the two different ways to do it. In this first method, we took away the two lengths that we knew, yeah? In the second method, we basically cut the parameter into half, and one half would be a length and a breadth. Okay, if I take away the length that I know, I will be left with the breadth. Okay, this is proper working. I hope you can understand the working. If you don't, you can always replay the video and try to understand it, okay? If you do not have any physical stuff to look at you can always draw the model to help you